Hey everyone, welcome back to the House of Bless and Fluff. My name is Carrie. Thank you guys for joining me. Today is Monday, October 14th. It's been about two weeks since my last update, so I hope everyone is doing really well. Hope you guys have had a good start to the month of October. Things here have been good, just the typical routine. Kiddo going to school, me working, hubby working, taking care of the house, all that good stuff. So not a whole lot going on there. So in my last video, we were coming up on my birthday and my birthday was Sunday, September 29th, and it was a great day. So we didn't have much going on that day. I basically got to sit and stitch like the entire day, which was fantastic. And then we did go out for pizza. So my whole family loves pizza. So that was, that was fun. And yeah, it was just a really good day. So I do want to say a huge thank you to everyone that sent me birthday wishes through BossTube or Instagram or Facebook. You guys made me feel really special that day. So I greatly appreciate it. So thank you to everyone. Yeah, it was awesome. Thank you guys. So since we're talking birthday, let's just dive in to Stitchy Kindness and birthday presents and a little bit of haul that I got. And then we'll get into finishes. Yep, I have some fully finished stuff to show you guys and some whips. Okay, so up first, I received two packages from two amazing people. I'm very lucky to have gotten to know them. Uh, Jen Upton Stitches and Candy from Candy Stitches. Yeah, I, were, I, I can't even say that they're my friends anymore. I swear I'm adopting them because I don't have siblings. I'm only a child. So I'm adopting those two and they are now my sisters. So, okay, we're just gonna move forward from there. Um, so up first is from Jen, adorable, funny card. And then look at that. It is a witch with a blue dress. And you guys know my favorite color is blue. She is so cute. Oh my gosh. So I'm pretty sure that's a House of Mang. Jen, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's a House of Mang. Oh, I love her. Love her. Okay. So there's that. Face mask. Jen always sends me face masks. And there was another one. There's actually two of these. I've already used one because it was awesome. And then she sent me Halloween socks. Aren't they cute? Look at the kitty. Adorable. Adorable. I cannot wait to wear these now because it is cold here. Yes, we woke up this morning and it was 32 degrees here. It's a little chilly. I'm still steadfastly in my flip-flops because I hate having closed toe shoes. I don't know. Even though my favorite times of year are fall and winter. It's weird. It's okay. It's okay. She sent me pens, gel pens, which yes, I have already opened. I have already used one. It is sitting in my purse because I love it. And I was the weird kid that loved back to school shopping. I wouldn't necessarily say I loved going back to school, but I did love the back to school shopping. I love pens, I love paper, markers, crayons, all that kind of stuff. I still love that stuff today, to today, like right now. And then look at the adorable pattern. This is Christmas House Trio from Waxy Moon Designs. I've looked at this pattern numerous times. I just never pulled the trigger and I don't have to because Jen is awesome and she sent it to me. I can't wait to stitch that. And then, oh my gosh, it is a sheep. It is sheep. It is a pencil case. Oh my gosh. I love it. It is so cute. It is the cutest thing ever. So love it, Jen. Thank you so, so much. Love everything. And mm, lost two bitchy noses back. I've been trying, you guys. I don't know how many times I have started and restarted this video. I don't know. It's just, it's not going to go away. Okay, and then Candy, my other stitching sister. So Candy sent me a whole bunch of hand dye glosses. And of course I have nothing white because I've never done this before. And you know, you'd swear I've never, <sighs> wow. It's been a day, you guys, it's a Monday. But aren't these gorgeous? And I'm actually missing one because I had to use one right away in a project. But aren't they beautiful? <sighs> Candy is so talented with, with dyeing. Oh my God. And then she sent me some Halloween stuff. So this is a beautiful little hand towel, which I am not using this in my kitchen as an actual hand towel. And no, this goes on my shelves. It is part of my Halloween decor because I don't want it to get dirty. It's so cute. And then seriously, a little spatula with a kitty on it. Oh my God. I love it. Love it. And she sent me some jingle bells. Well, they're not jingle bells. They are jack-o'-lanterns and some candy corn. 
little buttons that can be stuck on are awesome. And then she sent me Not Forgotten Farm. This is Stitching Witch. And sorry, my camera's at a little different angle today, so I'm like trying to figure everything out. But isn't that adorable? I love Not Forgotten Farm patterns. So that's great. And then, wait, the, I'm saving the best for last. So in Candy's last video, she had showed a finish and I squealed. It was so cute. And then I opened my package that she sent me and I squealed even louder because she sent me the finish. This is Double Double Toil and Trouble. It is a Lizzie Kate. It's from the, I believe it's from the 2013 uh, ornament, Halloween ornament issue of Just Cross Stitch Magazine. But isn't it adorable? I love it. I love it. And it has a perfect spot in my Halloween decor. It's awesome. So thank you again to my stitching sisters. You guys are awesome. And you spoiled me. I, totally spoiled me. Okay. So while we're on the subject of birthday, we'll go into what my husband got me. So it was, like I said, my birthday was 29th. So I believe it was Monday, which was like the 23rd, I, I think. I don't know. Anyway, it was, it was somewhere around there. Um, Rolanda, hand dyed by Rolanda, she had uploaded some new hand dyed fabrics and she had this really pretty 40 count fabric that I was kind of debating about getting. And it was really funny because I obviously had viewed the fabric. I liked or hearted the fabric on Etsy. And like I said, I was kind of debating in my mind about getting it. And my husband texts me a message with a link to this fabric. He's like, this is really pretty. And I'm like, okay, how did you know about this? It had come up on our Facebook ads because you know, Facebook stocks everything that you do. But anyway, he encouraged me to buy the fabric. So I did, I went and bought the fabric. And of course I bought some floss to go along with it. Okay, and it's stuck, it's really stuck in here. She uses really good stickers. Okay, so this is the fabric. So it's a 40 count and it's a very pretty kind of pumpkin color. I don't know if it's showing up fairly true. It might be a little bit brighter in person, but that's not too bad. It's gorgeous. I love it. And then I picked up some very pretty fall. Oops, sorry, I'm go that way. Some very pretty fall colored floss. There is one missing from in here too because I had to use it right away. And I'll show you guys um, the missing flosses here in a second. But very pretty. So I was very happy with that. Well then, Rolanda goes and uploads more 40 count fabric in beautiful neutral colors. I think she did that on like Wednesday or Thursday. And I was like, oh man. Just place an order and I'm trying to kind of cut back a little bit so I texted my husband and I'm like oh, man Rolanda just placed an order or just Rolanda just uploaded beautiful fabric but I just placed an order you know so like five minutes later I get another text from my husband with a screenshot of the Etsy receipt he went ahead and bought me three pieces of hand dyed by Rolanda 40 count fabric for my birthday I was shocked. I did not think that he was going to do that. And I was amazed. So he picked them out all by himself and he did a good job. The colors are gorgeous. So hold on. I have not opened this package yet. I was saving it to share with you guys. Okay. So I said, they're all 40 count and oops, sorry. This is the first one, which is a beautiful dark green. Isn't that gorgeous? And that's showing pretty true. It might be a touch darker in person, but that's pretty good. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love it. And then this one, kind of a rose, kind of a rosy brown color. Again, gorgeous. Just gorgeous. And I love neutrals because, you know, you can just put whatever you want on them, really. And then a great sand, parked mini color. I love that, too. Great modeling. So, yeah, he went and picked those out. All by himself. Yeah. Like I said, I'm lucky. I'm lucky. Very, very lucky. So those are gorgeous. Okay. So then we're not done yet. Cause then he surprised me again. So my husband works, he works um six days on, three days off, and it rotates. So our weekends, sometimes our weekends are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Sometimes we get once, you know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But anyway, so this last week on Wednesday, he said, Hey, why don't we take a trip to Green Bay? Which when he says, why don't we take a trip to Green Bay? That means I get to go to the Stitching Bee. So <laughs> took me to Stitching Bee um, for my birthday and 
one of our anniversaries and so I'm all excited. Um, I tried to be good, okay? So we'll go with patterns first. Oops, maybe. Maybe we'll go with patterns first. Okay, here we go. So this is one that he picked out. Um, this is from the Nevi Needle and it is My Country Tis of Thee and it's three cute little patriotic patterns. So that's gonna be a fun stitch. And then this is a Homespun Elegance uh, Yule House. This is one of their ornaments. I believe this is the one from last year. Look at that house. Isn't that beautiful? That's gorgeous. I can't wait to stitch that. This is Hands On Designs. This is Winter Solstice. Aren't those cute? And then she does have it charted where you can stitch the pennies on here or it does come with the little felt circles and so you can make them and attach them on there. And then another Homespun Elegance. This is Jingle Jingle. This was their ornament from 2011. And I just thought that was super cute. I love the little houses and the Santa. And then this is another one that my husband picked out. This is the Primitive Jewel Trust in the Lord. So that'll be a quick, easy one to do. And then this is Carriage House Samplings Red Winged Blackbirds. And I, I loved it. I just love the colors. Love those birds, they're beautiful. And this one is, yeah, it's silks. Is it called for? There is a DMC conversion, so. I don't know. And then these are two patterns I've had my eye on for a while. This is a drawn thread. I love this entire series. It is their botanical uh, stitches series. This is the pumpkin one. And I love that there are birds and flowers. Like you can't get any better than that. It's gorgeous. And then they also had the common lilac. And I love lilacs. So I got that one too. Those are awesome. Like I said, I have been looking at those drawn thread ones forever. And she had a couple, so I went ahead and was like, yep, okay. Sure, why not, right? Okay. And then for the rest of what I got, like I said, I left it all in bags so I wouldn't lose it. So I did get a couple pieces of fabric. So these are 40 counts. These are just small pieces. These are both lakeside linens. This is exemplar, which is just a very plain, very good neutral. And then this one is autumn gold, which is a very pretty darker brown color. And like I said, these are just small pieces. I think they're nine, they're nine by 13. So, but when you get 40 count, you can actually get quite a bit out of there. And then my husband found this adorable little kit. It's one of the shepherd's bush. This is let freedom bloom. So it's sheep and it's patriotic. It can't get any better than that. And it comes with everything, so. And those are really quick stitches, so I like those. Okay, and then I think I got everything. Yep, looks like an looks like an empty bag. And then he also picked out one of the Mill Hills. This is from the Winter Holiday Collection, the Filigree Star. So it's just red and white. But my hubby really liked that, so got that. And then I just picked out, well actually I didn't pick out. Hubby picked out some floss for me. As I said, I'm trying to build up my collection. This is all gentle arts. And aren't those gorgeous? Very pretty. Very, very pretty colors. Look at that purple. Isn't that beautiful? So very excited to you to use those and put those in my stash. So like I said, so that was stitching me. And I might as well finish off haul because I only have two other things to show you guys. Okay. So uh, Mo from Mo Sale is her Facebook group. She did semi-solid cottons. Um, so I got some of those. I think she released, well, she releases 10 colors of cotton at a time. I think I got eight out of the 10 and I always get two skeins of each. So there's seven or eight, I can't remember, different colors. But those are very pretty. Some great um, autumn colors for October stitching, for fall stitching. And, and then Lori, who is the uh, owner and dyer of Seraphim Fabrics. She, I think she started doing something new on her Facebook group um, where instead of doing a fabric of the month, she's doing a limited edition fabric um, monthly. And you can go ahead and she shows a picture of it and then you can, um, you can put whatever count you want, what size you want, if you want an opal, you know. So anyway, so this was her 
October. I almost forgot what month we were in here. Wow. I told you guys, it's been a really, really long day already. Okay. And lots of crinkling. I'm sorry. Sorry. I keep everything bagged. I try to keep things bagged until I do videos. Okay. You got to be smarter than the bag. Okay. I'm just going to get rid of that. Okay. So this was the October one and it is Honey Amber. So I don't know if this goes onto her, um, like her website or not, but isn't that gorgeous? And this is a 40 count. Oh, I love her fabrics. So I'll put links to the Facebook groups and stuff um, in the description box underneath the video, but oh my gosh, so pretty. So I'm very excited to see what she's going to do for the November limited edition fabric. Okay, so that was birthday, which again, I was spoiled and I'm so grateful to everyone. Thank you so much. Uh, and that was my haul. So not too bad, not too bad. Uh, okay, so let's go in to finishes. I had a few fully finished things, which is awesome. So up first, I'll show you guys. This was actually a new start and I finished it and I fully finished it before, um, from in between the time of my last video to this video. And that is Erica Michaels, Scary Berry. Isn't that cute? So cute. Um, so I did change out everything and I can show you, if I can find them real quick, I can show you guys. So this is the other Rolanda floss that I had purchased, which is a great color, it made a terrific moon. And then this was the other candy floss, which is this beautiful green. Almost, almost matches my shirt for today. So, okay. So I fully finished it. This is my first ever berry. And look at how cute. So I love it. Look at that moon. I love that Rolanda floss. Great variegation in there. And I stitched this on a 36 count, I believe it's called wet sandstone. And this is a seraphim fabric, um, but I think this one has been discontinued. I'm not positive, but I, I think it has been. But isn't it beautiful? Now, my finishing is not perfect. This is my first berry, so it's not perfect, but I do love it. Um, and so what I did is, you know, I followed all the instructions to make the actual berry. And then for the top, I did a fabric yo-yo out of my spider web fabric. And there is a spider button on here, and it's, he's actually kind of velvet. And then underneath is just a ruffled. Uh, I did the ruffle a little too thick. I think I did like two inches of fabric for that. And I could probably get away with about an inch and a half. And then these are just a couple, these are just two different colors of ribbon that I put in there just to kind of give a little different color to, to the whole top. But I think it turned out super cute. And I will definitely, I definitely know now what I want to do for the next one. Um, and I'll definitely make the ruffle a little bit smaller, but overall, I love it. And I'm excited to do another berry now. They are addicting. Okay. So then, you guys, if you have followed my channel, uh, you will know that back, I think it was March or April, I put together kind of a, a centerpiece, spring centerpiece. And it was a silvery galvanized pail that I had just gotten from Walmart in their floral section. And I just, you know, took the floral, the floral foam ball, put that in there and put some flowers. And then I had stitched, um, three Easter bunnies from Fuzzy Fox Designs and I made them into little eggs. I made a couple other little fabric, uh, animals and made this cute little floral arrangement, right? So I wanted to do another one for fall. So I had patterns for some really cute punch needle pumpkins that came from, hold on, I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget. So the punch needle pumpkins patterns came from Perfect Prim Punch on Etsy. So I punched, so I punched, <laughs> okay, you guys aren't gonna see me, that's okay. I punched the five pumpkins and then I just took my, my pail here, which this is another one that I got from Walmart. This one is a bronze pail. I think it's like $3. And then I got the round floral foam, put that in there, and then just put my, started putting my flowers in. And these are all just um, 
uh, silk flowers that I found in the seasonal section at Walmart. And then you guys can see my pumpkins. So the pattern I use, well, let's see, I'm trying to think how to say this. The pattern comes with five different pumpkins. Uh, but one of the pumpkins is a jack-o'-lantern and I didn't want to do the jack-o'-lantern because I didn't want to make this too Halloween themed. I just wanted it just a straight fall theme. So I punched these two. These two are the exact same design. I just changed the colors on them, but I love it. I, I'm, I'm so happy with this. I think it came out adorable. And there's some sticks and, oh yes. And instead of doing, um, dowels, which I did on the spring one, I just put, I attached these two sticks because I have a plethora of sticks and my local hardwood store was closed yesterday. So I couldn't get dowels and I didn't want to drive all the way to Air Mountain. So I just went ahead and used sticks, but I love it. I do. It's, it's super cute. So that is my, my fall centerpiece. And yes, I'm super thrilled with it. I think it came out really good. So yeah, love that. Okay, last one. So this is my newest chart. It is available in my Etsy shop. I just got it uploaded today. It is called The House in the Woods. And isn't that cute? So I'll show you guys up close. Like I said, I changed my camera angle and I'm not, I'm not liking it. <laughs> but oh my gosh, I love this. This is adorable. This was um, an idea that I had kind of when I first started to chart. This idea came into my head and I finally got to put it to paper and then stitch it. I love it. So it is stitched on a 28 count Monaco that I coffee dyed. It is stitched with all DMC thread and I did use one of the variegated threads in here for the house. And then I did put just a little mini green lime green button on there. Uh, I just love it, I'm so happy. And then the frame is just a wooden frame that I got at Walmart over in the craft aisle, kind of with their section of their unfinished wood products. Painted it with black paint, stenciled the pumpkin and the boo on there, and then I went ahead and I distressed it and sealed it. And then I just put two little fabric yo-yos and made a bow with a little pumpkin button in the center. And I love it. So like I said, the pattern is available in my Etsy shop. It's a quick one, it's small. So you could get this done for Halloween, definitely. So definitely go check that out if you're interested. I will put, of course, links um, to my Etsy shop and everything um, in the description box below. Okay, so on to whips. So I did pull out and I worked on the Jenny Bean Halloween sampler. Didn't get a ton into this. I can find the cover page. So give you an idea of what it's going to look like, even though it's in black and white. But this is where I am. So I went ahead and I added, what did I do? I added in more of the alphabet across here. I added in more of the white up here and I started putting in the name. So it's coming along. I still love this one. I've just been working on some other things. I'm trying to get some small stuff done so I can get some more pillows done. But okay. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm stitching this on a 36 count linen that was a hand dyed linen that I took and I put into a little bit of coffee to make it a little bit darker. I am using exactly one of the called for colors and I changed the big border here. All of the black is being done in a Vinky dye silk. The border of this part right here, which is going to be the box where the saying goes, that is also a silk. And then I'm going to use another silk for the actual words in the box. So I still love that one. Like I said, I just ended up with some smaller things that I was trying to get done so that I could have some more stuff for my shelves. Okay, so this is a new start. And I do have I have a time I have a tiny picture. So what I'm gonna do is I will insert the picture of the overall what the overall pattern looks like. This is a Barbara Anna. It is called Halloween, and here's the overall picture. Now, there are two versions of this. I am doing the version which only calls for two colors, but I'm actually using three because I'll talk to you guys about that in a second. So, there is my start, and I'm stitching this on 32 count. Hold on. 
Oh, should have looked it up before. I believe it's a 32 count. Yes, it's a 32 count linen um, vintage country mocha. And the two color version calls for a black, variegated black Valdani and the variegated ye yellow Valdani. So I could not decide which variegated black thread to use that um, I had bought in my last video. I bought three new, three different variegated black threads. So I'm using all three and I love it. I think it's coming out so nice. Oh, such a cute pattern. So had a good start on this one. Like I said, this was a new start. So made some decent progress on that. Really like that one. Okay. And then, hold on. So this is one that I just started this weekend. It is called, if I can get my hands to cooperate. It's called Harvest Blessings. It is from the 2019 fall issue of Country Home Primitive Stitcher Magazine. It was designed by Joyce Reed, right? Yeah, Joyce Reed. Oh, sorry, all my stuff is going to fall because why not? There we go. Okay, and that is my start. Isn't that cute? So it's just kind of a little sampler. And I love it. And this is Ozenberg linen, which is not a, it's not an even weave type of linen. It is used, well, I know that I heard about this linen from Lori at Not Forgotten Farm, and I know they use it in the uncounted cross stitch group. So it's, like I said, it's not the most even, but it looks great for primitive stuff. And I threw this one in some coffee just to darken it up a little bit. And I'm using all the call for DMC on this one. I really like this pattern. It's a fun stitch. And I think it's going to, I'm almost, well, I'm not almost done. I'm about halfway done. So I think it'll, it's moving along very quickly, which I love that. Okay. And then the last one, sorry, I hope I'm not kicking my tripod. Um, this is called Acorn Sampler. It is by Nikki's Creation, and it is from the 2017 fall issue of Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazine. And I'm all close to being done with this one. Okay, and there it is. Isn't it cute? Look at the squirrel. I love that squirrel. And there's going to be another one because they're sharing an acorn. But I love it. And this one is also being stitched um, on Osenberg linen. The big reason I had to go out and buy Osenberg linen is Barbara Anna, the pattern that Barbara Anna had in the 2019 fall issue of Punch Neal and Primitive Stitcher magazine, she used Osenberg linen for that pattern. So I had to go and get some and try it and I love it. So basically I treat it kind of like a 40 count. So I stitch it one over two, but I love this. So like I said, this is by Nikki's Creation. And it was in the 2017 fall issue of Punch Needle Primitive Stitcher Magazine. And I love the squirrel. And I now want to stitch everything squirrel. I never thought I'd say that. I don't know. But I'm usually not a huge fan of squirrels. But stitched squirrels are adorable. Okay. So I think that is everything. I believe that's everything that I have worked on. And those were my three finishes from yesterday. So yeah, okay. All right, so up next is we'll get into the giveaway. First and foremost, I just want to say um, from now, from this point going forward, I'm going to give everyone a month to contact me. So from the month that I announce the winner on my floss tube um, and when I go ahead and contact you, because I what I do is I comment on your comment from the video where you entered the giveaway. So I will give everybody a month to get in touch with me. Uh, usually it's through email, providing me with either your email address or your physical address. Now I have a few outstanding. So I'm going to announce the winners from the last video. You guys have a month to contact me, okay? And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to try and get in contact with a couple people that I am missing their address so that I can get their stuff out, okay? So I'm gonna take um, two weeks off of doing a giveaway so that way I can get caught up and hopefully get everything out and then we'll pick up the giveaways in my next video okay so like I said you guys have a month to contact me if I don't hear from you within the month within a month 
Um, I'm gonna ha I'm just gonna take it. I'm gonna have to put the item back in my collection and it will eventually come back up in a future giveaway. Okay, but you guys got a month from the time that I post a video and comment on your comment to get in touch with me. Okay, so the winners from the last giveaway. So the last giveaway was the cross stitch crazy. This was issue number 161. And you just had to say that I want to stitch the bear. And the winner is Gigi Stitches. So congratulations on winning the magazine. Okay. And then the winner of the Cats booklet, which is Cats Rule, to Stony Creek. The winner of this one is Lisa 1968. So Lisa and Gigi. What I will do is I will comment on your comments from my previous video. I will provide you with my email address. I just need you guys to send me an email um, providing me with your physical or mailing address and I will get these out into the mail to you. So like I said, you guys have a month from when this gets posted and like I said, I'm gonna reach out and contact the other people that I have not heard from and I will give them a month and then next week, or not next week, but my next video, which hopefully will be in two weeks, we will get back to the regular giveaways, okay? All right, so I think that's everything. I think I'm looking at everything. I think that's everything. So thank you guys so much for subscribing and for watching and for commenting. I appreciate it all. And I look forward to, I look forward to getting to talk to you guys and watching other people's videos. Just been such a great time getting to know everyone through FlossTube. So I hope you have a fantastic upcoming couple weeks, get lots of stitching in and stay warm if you've gotten cold in areas like where I am, or I hope you guys cool down a little bit if you're in areas where it's still really, really, really hot. So anyway, so like I said, hope you guys all have a fantastic upcoming week, and I will see you guys again in a couple weeks. Bye, everybody.